Hey, my babies, it's your girl, Kyra's Crystal Visions. Give me some boop, 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 dap, because you're the dopest and we know this. Hey, my babies. Hey, my darlings. Hey, my soul tribe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, newbies, in-betweens, and my OGs. Brrr. Okay. Mwah. Much bandsauce to each and every one of you. Thank you for all of the love. Thank you for all the shares, the comments. Rocking with your girl always, okay? I love each and every one of you. And I am grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you for all of the donations, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. It helps me. It helps me support my two kings, okay? Um, one is 15 and one is four. Those are my two babies. Um, doing this and other projects that I have on the low low helps me support them. So I appreciate each and every one of you that donate, okay? That likes, that comments, that shares my videos, that rocks with me, okay? I even appreciate those that Say if the message does not resonate, but you still show love. Sending you much love, much healing, and much beautiful energy so that you can manifest your deepest desires, babies. I appreciate each and every one of you, all right? So we're just going to tap in and see what's going on, okay? I'm about to make that a theme question. Because that's what we're always tapping into. What's going on with you? What's going on, you know, with the person that you've come to this reading for? All right. So it may be about you. It may be about somebody else. It may be about y'all together. Hey, my babies. Y'all, I had a long weekend. Okay. Um, I was just going to get on here tomorrow, but... Spirit is always waking me up out of my sleep, out of my slumber, <laughs> um, to give you guys some messages, okay? Um, I'm feeling like this is going to be a positive message, okay? We're going to put that into the atmosphere for you guys when it comes to what's going on, all right? Um, don't mind me, I'm more mellow and calm because... I'm tired, okay? <laughs> I had a fun-ass weekend, okay? I went to a concert, and I'm just pooped. And I literally just got home yesterday, like, or I could just say this morning, okay? So, we're going to get into it and see what's going on, all right? We're going to start off with some messages to see, you know, how your person is feeling, and we're going to clarify, all right? What's going on? It says, soon, I'm going to contact you. Okay. So someone's going to contact you soon. Someone that has been heavily thinking about you, okay? This person could have been unclear in the past in regards to you and them, but um, I'm hearing they're very clear-headed now, all right? In the past, it says, I don't know how I feel about this connection anymore, but... All of that has been cleared up is what I'm hearing. <laughs> so this person wants to call you and express how they're feeling about this connection, okay? How they're feeling about you. I'm hearing the love runs deep or deeper than what they have have already expressed, okay? So for some of you, this person has never expressed their feelings towards you. And for others of you, this person always expresses how they feel but this person wants to take it, I'm hearing, a step further, okay? I'm hearing marriage or a just full-blown open commitment, okay? So whether you're in separation from this person or this person has yet to make themselves known, I'm hearing this person has a big crush on you, secret admirer of some sort. Even if you know this person, they still have a crush on you. They still have, you know, a lot of love for you. They are a secret admirer. You motivate this person, okay? Let's get some more. All right. 
my fantasy. Ooh. Okay, sweet fantasy. <laughs> I think that's Mariah Carey. Y'all, if y'all could only know how tired I am. <laughs> it's cool, right? It says, my fantasy. You are my fantasy. I have pictures and videos saved of you and use them for inspiration. I want you. Okay, so this person saves your photos <laughs> and your videos because they masturbate to them, period. <laughs> but they also use them <clears throat> to visualize a future between you two, okay? So if this person has not came forth yet, like if you don't know who this person is, this person just fantasizes that you would respond to them positively, okay? So some of you, okay, this is someone that knows of you. You could know of this person, but you don't know this person like that, okay? For others of you, this is someone you're already connected with or someone you already connected with, okay? So you're either connected, you're in a commitment, or this is someone you've connected with, but y'all could have just been friends. This could have been friends with benefits is what I'm hearing. An event that you went to, I'm hearing recently, or it could have been in the recent past is what I'm hearing. And ever since this person like either stumbled upon your social media, met you through a friend of a friend, met you at a recent event or a event that you went to in the recent past, this could be someone, like I said, that you're committed to, someone that you're dating, all right? This could be a friend that you could have, you know, slipped up and had sex with, or y'all could be friends with benefits. Whatever the case is, boo. <laughs> this person constantly fantasizes about you and them. Sexually, I'm hearing intimately, okay? Having a family together, like all types of sexual desires is also what I'm truly hearing. So this person is very, very heavily attracted to you okay if you're wondering you know i've been with this person for some odd years are they still attracted to me are they heavily fantasizing about me and them yes <laughs> yes it's still you for them if you've been in a long time connection and you're stumbling upon this read just to get clarification or confirmation Yes, your person is still into you after all these years. Yes, you're still sexy as hell to them, man or woman. And yes, they love tearing that up, okay? <laughs> is what I'm hearing, okay? That still goes for, you know, the new commitments, those that reconciled, all right? This person that wants to come in and shoot their shot. They want to get to know you, all right? You are whoever you are to this person that you've come to this reading for, you're their fantasy, you're their dream, okay? And maybe for some, they're really busy when it comes to work or, you know, whatever they do for work, they can't have a lot of contact at certain periods of time is what I'm hearing. So it's times where you can talk to this person hours on end and then it's times where this person can't talk because of whatever type of career field. But they always talk to you every day. So it's like they can't talk to you all day or they can't like be on the phone all damn day. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. But they still make time to talk to you every day or at least to show you that, you know, they're thinking about you. Okay? So... That is also the person that's going to contact you soon. Okay, maybe it's been a day or two. You haven't heard from your person. They could be in the military or do some form of undercover work. FBI work is also what I'm picking up. Like your person could be a undercover informant. Undercover, you know, FBI agent. Some form of a informant. That's why they go like a day or two or hours without talking to you okay that's for someone <laughs> that's for 
<laughs> someone someone is like yo why this person always like take forever to text back it's because for some of your persons they can't get caught with their cell phone at their job and for others your person do some real heavy <laughs> FBI type of work but for the majority your person can't be caught on the phone at work all right i'm hearing they'll get some type of penalty or something like that so spirit is saying do not fret babies do not worry your person is focused on you and getting their money <laughs> especially for those that are in a commitment or you have reconciled okay you are this person's everything okay you and this person could also talk all day every day and they're about to contact you right now <laughs> they're going to interrupt this reading okay and you're about to have a beautiful conversation whatever you're talking about okay whenever you peer into this reading whatever you're you and your person is talking about okay you're going to have a beautiful lovely conversation it could just be catching up on your day all right so some people this is you know oh let me call you see how your day is going for some people, this is, you know, someone that you haven't heard from in a while, okay? For others, this is someone that just works a lot and they now have the time. For others, this is a crush, a secret admirer that's going to contact you. Um, for others, you know, this is someone that wants to reconcile. I mean, it's so many different messages, so many different circumstances and situations, okay? Some of you guys are in commitments. This person just calls you all the time. <laughs> And they're going to call you soon. Others, you know, like I said, this person wants to reconcile or this person wants to get to know you. Okay. Or you could be dating this person and they could have a hectic job. You could have a hectic job. Point of case is you're this person's fantasy. Okay. But I had to clear up that little bit of confusion is what I'm hearing from spirit. Like, I guess when your person goes a couple of hours without contacting you, you get a, you know, a little scared, a little anxiety, a little worried for some of you. I'm um, spirit is saying, don't worry. They're just busy at work. <laughs> Be honest, like, or they're busy handling business. It's you for them. 1133 on the clock. All right. This person is very clear about what they want with you. If this person hasn't come in yet, then you're like, what the hell? You know, where's my person? They were unclear about what they really wanted. Even if you don't know this person, okay? You're single, you're waiting for your person. It took a little time because they had to align pretty much point blank period. And they were unclear in regards to if they wanted a stable commitment, they're clear now, all right? So they're aligning to you. I'm hearing spirit said, well, you know, we <laughs> want to get the perfect person for you. Okay. Because like I've told you guys before, some of you guys are destined to reconcile and others are destined for new love. All right. We all have free will. We all have the choice to choose. So you can choose. All right. Um, but destiny is destiny. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Destiny is destiny, y'all period um somebody loves to talk to you okay that's what's really coming in strong even though you have people that want to communicate with you um that want to talk to you that want to see how you doing is also what i'm hearing okay these are people that you haven't spoken with friends family um ex-friends, ex-lovers, or just people that maybe you just stopped talking to. They're probably not ex-friends. I'm hearing, you know, life happens. You know, and people get busy with life, but people want to catch up with you is what I'm hearing. They want to see, you know, how you're doing. Or they're watching and they see that you're doing great. They want to catch up with you. So these are not just love interests. 
this is not just a love interest that you're currently um, committed to, talking to, dating, um, love interests that want to come in, that want to reconcile. These are also like people that have lost contact with you. People that you don't even know. <laughs> um, Low-key like you. Low-key infatuated with you with my fantasy here. It's like the more I stay on these cards, the more messages. <laughs> the more messages I get, y'all. Like, it's a lot of people coming through. So you got a lot of people that are fantasizing about you. It's not just sexually. It's like, oh, you know, let me work with the collective. If I work with the collective, you know, how would it be to be friends with the collective? Oh, if I was to link back up with the collective, you know, because this could be some of your friends in the past is what I'm hearing when it comes to this particular message. Like, oh, if I hook back up with the collective, how are they now? Will they answer my call, answer my message? So you have like friends that you may not talk to or, you know, you could have outgrown that wants to reconnect. You do have past lovers that want to reconnect is also what I'm hearing. But, you know, some of you could be in a commitment already. So that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> you got a lot of people that is watching you fantasizing hold on y'all um my bad my music is about to go off like i was saying you have a lot of people that is fantasizing about you truthfully people are fantasizing about you know building a business with you people are fantasizing about reconnecting with you partying with you having good times with you how are you doing um, then you have, you know, people fantasizing about marrying you, being in a relationship with you, having sexual relations with you, you know, some people just want hookups, other people want long term, other people just want to be your friend. I'm going to be real. I, you got people fantasizing about having threesomes with you, how handsome and gorgeous you are is what I'm hearing. Wow. All right, we're going to keep going. <laughs> we're going to keep going. Um, It may be a couple of people in your energy, babes, because it's a lot of people I'm picking up on, okay? Or it's like two different prominent people in your energy, and they are fantasizing about you heavily. But I'm also picking up on, like, people that you don't talk to no more or... Maybe you haven't talked to for a long time is what I'm hearing. No one compares, all right? No matter how many people I've met and experiences I've had, um, there's no one who compares to you. That's what I feel like. I feel like, you know what I really feel? I feel like these are like past friends, exes, whether this is lovers, friends with benefits, one night stands, actual relationships, um, co-workers, jobs. Um, family members, friends. These are people that miss you and they really want to contact you. And that's why I was picking up when I'm looking at the fantasy card. It's not just about sex. It's more so about missing your friendship, missing the good times, you know, seeing how far you have come in life, how good you're doing, you know, a lot of these people know that you're going places. Like, no one compares to you. Your friendship, you know, when you were, you know, tight or closer with these people is what I'm hearing. Um, your relationships, the love that you give, the unconditional support. Like, no one compares to how dope of a friend you are, how amazing of a you know, husband, wife, or, you know, partner when it comes to love relationships that you are. Um, people that you've worked with miss you as well because of your vibe, your essence, your personality. Like, you leave a impact, an imprint on people. Everybody that you meet can never forget you. 
Yeah. That's what I'm really getting. People fantasize about the memories that you've made with them. That's what this is. Yep. Of course, the messages previously, you do still have, you know, lovers that want to reconcile with you, that are in admiration of you, that are motivated by you, you know, that have crushes on you, that want a chance with you. But some of you are in relationships already. And that person is about to contact you soon. That person is head over heels, infatuated, in love with you, you know, sprung off the sex and much more. Okay? As well as other options that want a chance with you. But we got family that appreciate you, friends that appreciate you. Even if they're not showing this, this is the energy that's coming through. Some of you have platforms and some of you, like I said, when you come across these people, even if it's for, you know, a couple of hours, because you're meeting a friend through a friend and y'all have like the best time when y'all go out or when you link up with this friend either personally or with others it's always a great time and it's like people can't forget you is what i'm hearing people can't forget you and i really feel like a lot of these people know that you're going places in life and if you moved people miss you is also what i'm hearing all right so even though we have two strong twin flame high level soulmate energies that fantasize about you, that feel like you're the one, no one else <laughs> compares to you, and they want to contact you, you could be in contact with one already. You have other people that constantly think of you. Constantly. Yep, you're my favorite. I can't make it up, y'all. You're the favorite. Okay, I'm hearing if, you know, the collective is not coming, I'm not trying to go. <laughs> All right, so you could get invited out a lot. Parties, cookouts, um, concerts, events, traveling. You could always be on the go, or you're about to be this popping, is what I'm hearing. If your life is dry as fuck, nobody's hitting your phone up. You know, you're in hermit mode. All you do is work and come home. You're about to be in this energy very, very soon. Like hot commodity. Your phone is always going to be going off with opportunities, love interests, you know, soul family, friends. Um, if you're single, you're going to connect with someone that also has a lot of friends and family is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Or if you're already committed to someone and both of you guys are like hermits, you're about to move or move in somewhere. And around this area, you're going to meet a lot of people like you or you're going to go out with your person a lot and you're going to meet a lot of good people. And a lot of these people are always going to have you on their mind. Like either or y'all. If you're a hermit and, you, like I said, your phone is dry and you're not really going anywhere but working home, this is going to happen. Like, you're going to have a lot of people fantasizing about you, wanting to, you know, be your friend because you're dope, okay? Maybe you are in hermit mode to recuperate, to heal, you know, to sacrifice for what you're trying to manifest or establish in your life, okay? So many reasons why you could be in hermit mode, okay? Whether it's healing, whether you're sacrificing to trying to grow a business, you're taking a break, okay, whatever. When you come out of this hermit mode, you're gonna have a lot of fucking people um, wanting to do business with you, wanting you as a love option, wanting to be your friend, you know, you're going to have family wanting to reconnect with you. Like I said, if you're not in hermit mode, this is already happening. Yep. You're connecting with new soul family is what I'm hearing. But then you have like past people that want to come back too, like maybe family that you don't talk to anymore. They want to reconnect friends that you stopped talking to or you outgrew or 
you know, just life happens, wants to reconnect. Yeah, man, because you are that friend. You are that, like, dream husband, dream wife is what I'm hearing. You're that dream partner. You have a lot of people fantasizing about you, man. Yeah. And I'm going to be real. At the bottom of the deck, jealousy. They all are very jealous over you, not of you, right? Or this is going to happen. Because <laughs> I keep hearing prediction for some and in the present moment for others. So you're going to have people like, no, that's my friend. No, that's my family. No, that's my girl. No, that's my man. Like friends, family, coworkers, <laughs> a love interest are all going to be jealous because they feel like you're theirs. Like if you've been alone for a while and you haven't really had any good friends, no love interest, you know, unfortunately you had to separate from your family you're about to have a lot of good soul family, which are friends. You're going to have a lot of good love options. Like, you took a leap of faith at work or you need to, all right? Either in a different location or just gunning for that promotion or going into business for yourself. This is going to help you put you in... The frequency, yes, but also like a location to where you're going to meet this higher level soulmate or your true twin flame is what I'm hearing. Or you could be moving with your um, twin flame higher level soulmate, like moving to a completely different city, town, state, country. So many different messages, okay? And that's when all of this is going to take place or it could already be taking place now because you've already moved and you've already reconciled and you've already connected with your person. For others that's single, this is going to happen. Some of you guys could be about to connect with someone that's a celebrity because I'm seeing a lot of love, a lot of gossip, a lot of conversation. This could already be happening. And it's like everybody you meet. I'm trying to tell you, everybody, you leave an imprint. And it, it, I'm hearing people do get a smidge of jealousy because of your energy. It's just so powerful. Like, it's so magnetic. It draws people in. Like, you'll be like, yeah, I'm just going to stay here for an hour just to, you know, socialize. And you be there for hours. And everybody wants to talk to you. And everybody wants to know your name. And who is the collective and what do you do for a living and just amazed by your talents, your gifts, the way you talk, how beautiful or handsome you are, the way you dress. Like, yeah, very soon, I'm trying to tell you, like, you're about to get a lot of fucking recognition, like publicity. All I'm seeing is like cameras, action, lights, lights, camera, action. Yo, whether you're single or you're in a commitment or you're getting to know people, you're dating. I'm trying to tell you, if you're like, man, I need some good friends. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I ain't got no love interest. Some type of move, some type of event, something is going to shift or it has already and you're getting all this love, all this attention, or you're about to. That's what I keep seeing. It's like, I want to <laughs> pinpoint these two love interests, but it's like Spirit is saying, you're going to have many. Of course, you're only going to be in love with one, or you could already be in love with one, but the way you're about to glow up or blow up in some form and fashion this could be due to work is what i'm hearing you're gonna have many love options just a lot of love just a lot of love yeah that's why i keep hearing let's see what else let's see what else okay 
The Ace of Pentacles. I cannot make it up. And then you got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. A lot of love, yo. When it comes to your work is what I'm hearing. And it's like you have two options right now that really, really want you. But you're going to have way more than two. You're going to have many options. Many in your near future. I can't make this up, boo. Yup, with the tower. And you're going to be shocked. <laughs> you're going to be shocked how many... Spirit is saying, just put it down. You're going to be shocked how many people want to invest. Yep. And people are going to be so heartbroken that you're going to be like, no, you know, I have either a person I'm already with, I'm already committed to, that you're destined to be with, or you're going to pick amongst your healthy options. And you're going to, you know... Pretty much choose that one option and block the rest. And the ones that you're blocking is going to be so heartbroken. Wow. I'm trying to tell you, yup. Yeah. Because you're going to go for who fits you best. Okay, so you're about to blow up in your work. Whatever you do for work. And this is going to lead to so many love options. I'm hearing people that want to be your friend. You know, you're my favorite. I'm hearing you were always my favorite. That's what I'm telling you. It's like people coming back from the past. <laughs> you're about to come into financial abundance. And I'm trying to tell you, people coming back, boo. Because it's like, I want to fixate, like, again, on these two love options. But it's other energies trying to force their way to this reading. Yeah. Yep. With the tower. You're going to be shocked how many people admire you, that are inspired by you, that always was a fan is what I'm hearing of you. Even if they hit it, even if they was a low-key hater, it's like all the people that hated on you are now going to be your fan. All the people that doubted you are now going to pretty much support you. You're going to blow up in your work. And I'm hearing now. It's about to happen or it's happening. Wow. I'm going to be. <laughs> how spirit. Yo, this how you going to be chilling. Period. Like. Okay. Spirit is saying I'm about to show you and everyone else that you are and will always be the prize. Wow. So yeah, those ships that you were waiting for, that manifestation for your business to blow up or that lucrative business idea or that promotion or your business in general, it is about to blow. I'm hearing that eight mile, don't miss your chance to blow because this opportunity comes once in a lifetime, yo. You're about to get a once in a lifetime opportunity that is going to blow your work up. And I'm going to be real. If you are in a commitment, this person may get a little jealous. But it's not because that of your success, right? That you're successful. It's because I'm trying to tell you a lot of options. <laughs> yep. A lot of options are going to want to invest with the hangman. People are going to be like, oh, Oh, the collective. So I feel like the underdogs on top, like people counted you out. People felt like you weren't worth investing in in the past. That's why God said, I'm going to show them that you were and always will be the gift all along. Oh, yeah. Basically, people didn't realize that you were, you know, the dopest, but we know this. <laughs> um, people didn't realize that you were a chosen one. That's what that is. Um, <laughs> okay, y'all, listen, listen up. Um, those that are committed to really good men and women that was there for you, I'm hearing through hell and high water, never gave up on you. Um, you could have been really not easy to deal with through a healing period, right? If you were with someone and you were healing from a lot of burdens, issues, traumas, addictions, my collective, right? If you were healing and you had someone 
that was there with you through it all, this person will enjoy this abundance with you. Um, if you're committed to someone that came in, I'm hearing halfway through the progress, right? Of you healing, of you, um, I'm hearing winning the spiritual warfare, okay? Against magic, evil eye, hate, slander, gang stalking. If you had someone come in through that progress of your journey, right? That process and they stuck with you, okay? And you could have been tough to deal with, that person will also enjoy this abundance. So someone that could have been with you for a long time through your ups and downs, okay? And someone that came in midway and still stuck it out with you, okay? If any of you guys are dealing with any of those type of individuals, they will definitely, I'm hearing guaranteed, be the one that is going to bask in this abundance that you are deserving of because they never gave up on you. They sacrificed a lot to, you know, be there with you, to comfort you, to be unconditional support to you, okay? Everyone else that scattered, that pretty much did not help you, wasn't a genuine source for, you know, an outlet to vent, to get good advice, there they won't. They won't bask in this abundance that you are receiving or you're currently receiving. You are or you will, okay? But you're destined for this financial blessing. Yep, because you put in a lot of the hard work. But like I said, um, I really want to, I'm hearing reiterate from Spirit is telling me <laughs> to reiterate you know, if you had someone that was rocking out with you the whole time, that's your person. Or someone that came in midway and you were going through hell, but this person still stuck it out with you, they're going to be the one to be with you. If you're single and you were going through all of this, you will have someone that is your match. Okay? They will be an asset, not a liability. They will not be a burden is what I'm hearing, okay? This could be that secret admirer, that crush that is soon going to contact you, okay? Or this could be a friend. Like, I'm hearing, like, so many different messages. This could be a friend, okay, that's always wanted to be with you. But either they didn't look at you in regards to a commitment or you weren't looking at them to be in a commitment with. But someone has a different point of view is what I'm hearing, okay? So some of you, you know, you're going to connect with a friend. Others of you, this is someone you don't even know, a secret admirer, a crush, all right? Others of you, this could be a coworker. Others of you, this is someone you met through a friend of a friend or through travel, okay? Others of you, this is someone that you've already been in a connection with or you're, you never left this person. Okay, so in others, this is a new connection. It's just, it's a lot of scenarios is what I'm hearing. Okay, so, so you will not get confused. This is for new love, reconciliation, friends that want a chance, secret admirers and crushes that want a chance. Okay, when it comes to love dynamics, but like I said, you got friends, family, past, you know, exes, past lovers. You also have friends that, you know, maybe you just lost touch with that want to come back. Okay. I'm also hearing some of these friends that you've lost touch with or that just stopped talking to you. They didn't think that you would be anything or that. Your visions would come true, but it's coming true. You are going to be more than I'm hearing what anyone could have imagined out of you. Because I really hear people looked you over, even your friends. And I'm trying to tell you, God is going to show them it was you all along. You were there in plain sight, but no one wanted to give you your props, your flowers. Everyone overlooked you. Mm -hmm. Yep.
And these people were, you know, I'm hearing friends that you don't talk to anymore um, were jealous. That's why they stopped talking to you. They stopped inviting you out places. They could have just act like, oh, it's life and just stop talking to you when you probably actually was busy and it was just life for you. They're just going to use that as, as an excuse. Spirit is saying use your discernment because a lot of these people don't deserve to be back in your life. We're just telling you what's going on, okay? Yeah, we're definitely telling you what's going on. You definitely have a feminine energy, okay? Whether you are man or woman, you have a feminine energy um, that wants to talk to you so bad. This could be a friend. But this friend already crossed too many boundaries is what I'm hearing. And you're not giving them any type of way back into your energy. Um, this friend could dabble into witchcraft as well is what I'm hearing. So be cautious of whoever this friend is. Yeah, you've walked away from this friend. All right. So it's like multiple energies, babes. <laughs> I want to pinpoint like... This ride or die energy that you have been with or that you're now with or that wants to come in. This energy that feels like you're just incomparable. You know, you're, it will always be the best option. But I feel like a lot of people feel like that towards you. Even people you don't talk to no more. Like, they miss the fuck out of you. These people miss you. Like, even your ex's family misses you is what I'm hearing. Your family miss you. Your friends, people miss you. Exes miss you. And this would be a shock because I feel like a lot of these people took you for granted or acted like you didn't matter when you were there. Is what I'm hearing. Yeah. A lot of these people miss you. Back this up. And a lot of people are going to witness this like viral moment or moment of just massive prosperity. Even if you don't like shout it to the world or you don't post as much, like people are going to know. I'm hearing publicized heavily. Or by you just living life, going on vacation, basically always getting what you want. People are going to know that you're fucking wealthy. People from afar is even watching you. I'm hearing people you know and people you don't even know. Wow. So you got a lot of people fantasizing about you. People you don't know, people you do know. And like I said, it's not just sexually. Yes, for some it is. For others... It's, you know, meeting with you, talking to you, being your friend, reconnecting with you, you know, connecting with you in general. I feel like people prejudged you a lot of the times. I'm hearing damn near all the time. But when people get to really know you or you're expressing your true self on social media, people are fucking shocked with the tower card. And they're like, damn, I really like the collective, period. Like, they the shit. That's what I'm hearing. So you have, okay. You have your exes, family members, friends that you do talk to, you don't talk to. Family members you do talk to, you don't talk to. Um, exes you talk to if you have children with these exes. Um, you have, if you're in current relationships, those people, you have a lot of people watching you, talking about you, and it's in a really good way. I feel like in the past it was negative, but people are seeing the truth about you. This is beautiful. It's like um, justice. Yep. People love your vibe, your essence. Like they love your optimum way of thinking, your intellect. They love the fact that you're fearless. You go after your goals and dreams. I mean, what's going on right now is people, they're talking about you. That's what I'm hearing. 
Why are they talking? Yeah, because they're becoming aware of how amazing you are. The hangman. I feel like for a long time, you know, past people and even current people, but you did a transformation. I'm hearing physical, energetically, spiritual, mental. Okay. You could also be eating differently, but you're also feeding yourself different information. But you changed. Okay, and people can see this. I feel like, like I said, in the past, people had a, a one-way thinking of you, but that has completely changed. Yeah. And even if people are not telling you this, when they're watching you on social media, um, when they're hanging around you, when they're talking to you, you know, when you come around, they think this. They think very highly of you. For real, for real. Look, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Sun and the Ten of Cups. You know, a lot of people may not express this all the time, but truth be told, like, these people want to reach out to you. Not only are you happy with your own life, not only are you making a lot of positive progression in your own life, you know, they felt happier, blessed, and lucky being connected to you. They felt more stable being connected to you. For some of you, you know, it's a lot of mayhem. It's a lot of chaos going on in these people's lives. And they're looking at yours and realizing that you are calm, cool, collected, at peace, happy, you ain't worrying about nothing. Your future is set. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like past people, people you don't really connect with anymore, people you really don't talk to, you've always been their favorite is what I'm hearing. But why did people act like you weren't because of jealousy, envy? Some of these people felt like they were better than you and you still were humble and kind. Um, but it's a lot of mayhem going on in these people's lives that you do not talk to anymore. I feel like the people that you are talking to or if you're in a commitment, they're not going through this. They're just realizing with this tower moment how dope you are, how kind you are, how rare of a person you are. Like you're a true friend, you're a true husband, you're a true wife, you're truth, you're real. And these people that, you know, you are discussing your plans, your future with friends, family, you know, love interests that you trust, that you have gotten the word that you can trust. <laughs> um, They are really intrigued by you with this tower card. I keep getting drawn back to this tower card. They're intrigued and they're inspired. And they love your vision. They love where you're going in life. They love that you move in silence with the four of pentacles. When you give advice and guidance, people hold on to it. Past people, new people. If you're in a current relationship, let's see what else. Yep, justice. I can't make this up, y'all. I'm trying to tell you, it's like people perceived you one way, but now, like, justice is prevailing, babes. I'm really hearing all those past people, you know, they're going to see you get just, justice, for real, for real. Yep. Yeah. It's about damn time. Lizzo. Yup, because a lot of these past people, seven of swords, they did you dirty. I'm trying to tell you, a lot of these people, when you would tell them, you know, your dreams and what you wanted to be, they laughed behind your back, some in your face. They didn't take you serious. I'm hearing, but the proof is in the pudding. God is going to show them otherwise. Just because these people want you back and, you know, they want to connect back with you they feel like they know this and they feel that you know they'll never meet another friend like you another lover like you okay another co-worker 
another worker like you, um, they know that you're moving forward. With the six of swords that we saw earlier, you're moving forward, babe. Yeah. A lot of these people are going through chaos in their life because they refuse to get out of their comfort zone. They refuse to take the shackles from around their, I'm hearing ankles and their wrists, but also the shackles off of their mind. Remember, people admire you because you're a risk taker. You will leap knowing that God will catch you. You know, these past people, they're stuck. And they really want to, I'm hearing, attach themselves to you. So be careful. Yes, they are inspired. Yes, you know, I'm hearing for some, now they want to hop on the bandwagon. For others, you know, they low-key always believed in you but didn't want to show you, I guess, out of jealousy and envy Envy is what I'm hearing. But, you know, you're moving on up like George and Wheezy. And some of these people, um... Okay, baby. And you're happy at the bottom of the deck, the sun card. Okay? You're happy. And I feel like now, you know either past friends or friends that you've lost contact with or you have minimal contact, um, co-workers, family, you know, exes, ex-lovers, ex-partners, they are now seeing your vision. They are now seeing your worth. They're now seeing you for, I'm hearing what you <laughs> have always been, period, okay? The sun, baby. You come into people's lives and you change it. You are a tower moment, but it's always a good one. It's giving people revelation. It's giving people eye-opening experiences to let them know that, yeah, you're dope collective, but the people that you come into contact with that is not coincidental, you allow them to see that they're dope as well. Unfortunately, some people get jealous and not inspired but you have no control over that, my babies, okay? But, you know, you have a high-level soulmate and a twin flame that feels like you are the sun, okay? But then you also have other soulmates that feel like that. Like, low-key, whether you're in a relationship or not, due to this popularity, you're going to have a lot of people competing for you, all right? That's just a heads up. <laughs> um, a lot of you have the one. You don't give a fuck about no other options. Others of you, you're going to have the pick of what you want. Okay? If you're not in a commitment. All right, babies. So, let's get some um, advice from the universe. And we're going to get out of here. But that's the message, my babies. What's going on is that you're about to blow up or you're blowing up. And people are paying attention. I'm trying to tell you, a lot of people are paying attention, okay? Of course, you have, you know, a lot of people that want your attention, that want to get to know you. Of course, you have two prominent um, energies that are holding tight to you, okay? I'm hearing a new energy and a past energy, okay? Um, but it's so many people that want to come through this reading it's like past friends, co-workers, jobs that miss you, um, you know, your family members, ex-lovers, ex-partners, baby mamas, baby daddies, ex-wives and husbands, like, and even the people that they're dating now, the people that they used to date, it's like everybody, you know, is watching you because your exes, your, your friends, your ex-friends, um, your family members that want to reconnect, friends that want to reconnect, they all talk about you. So it's like everybody's watching you. <laughs> um, let's get some advice from the universe, okay? Hubba, hubba, because you fine as fuck. You the full package, period. Hubba, hubba, okay? Even your friends want to taste is what I'm hearing. I'm going to be real. All right, you be like, really? Yes. <laughs> Even though they respectful, they still want to, you know, yeah. 
do something new, something different. That's what you do. You do something new and you always onto something different. You're always taking leaps of faith. You're always trusting in yourself and the divine. I'm trying to tell you. And people are inspired by this, but they also low key are jealous of it too because they wish that they were like that. Okay, you do have people that want to copycat. You do have people that wish they were you and others that wish they were more like you. But you're always doing something new. You're always traveling. Whether you're posting it or not, you're enjoying life. Okay, and you fine as fuck. On top of the fact that a lot of you guys have businesses or you're doing good at your job. You're fine. You're smart. You're no pushover. You know your worth. Okay. Let's get one more. Yes. Enjoy your extraordinary uniqueness. This is what you do unapologetically. I'm trying to tell you, even if people wanted to front on you, even if people, you know, were trying to, you know, turn their lip up to you like, you know, you bougie or you not this, you not that. You are. You are the shit. You are dope. You are amazing. You are gifted. Okay? And unfortunately... A lot of people project because they feel like they are incapable of doing it. Even those that are capable, unfortunately, if they're still in their low vibration, they're not going to want you to supersede them so they wouldn't help you. But it's okay because you got enough help from God, your angels, your spirit team, your ancestors, and much more. And they're going to, I'm hearing, push you or you've already been pushed or guided is what I should really say, guided towards those that will help you without a second thought. Never in competition with you is what I'm hearing. It says you were born with that equality, period. Period. Like, I feel like some people saw it in the past, undeniable. Others just wanted to deny the fact that you are it because they didn't want you to know that. But you have that new soul family. You have those past people. You have people that knew and or didn't want to accept okay so you have people that knew and didn't want to accept and just people that just knew that you was going to be something that you're meant for big things okay and you are that's why i keep getting multiple people because you got that it factor boo you're rare okay you're rare boo you fine you're a rebel. You go after your dreams. You live life. You don't give a fuck about what people think. In a aspect, right? You're always open to constructive criticism, but not hate. Yeah. You're you're doing amazing. <laughs> yeah, things are about to get really juicy for you. Things are about to, you know what I'm saying? I'm hearing pick up delightly. I don't know if that's a word, but I'm hearing delightly, like very great. You have nothing to worry about. I feel like you're worrying about nothing. <laughs> that's what I'm feeling. All right. You're, you're just enjoying each moment, you know, with the people that are loving on you and you're loving them. Even if you're by yourself and, you know, God and your angels is loving on you, you're loving on you and you're pulling in more love because of it. But you're extraordinary. You got that it factor. Keep doing what makes you happy, right? Keep doing, you know, what is being also asked of you when it comes to your purpose and your path. Because you're doing it and you're doing it and you're doing it well, boo. Literally doing it well. And you look good doing it. <laughs> All right. People are watching. People are astounded is what I'm hearing with this. Hangman, it's like, oh shit, I didn't know the collective was this dope, this talented, this gifted. Damn, I didn't know the collective was really going to do X, Y, and Z. Damn, I didn't know the collective, you know what I'm saying, was actually going to overcome those hardships. I didn't know the collective, you know, was that fine. Damn, you know, that's what I'm hearing too. I didn't know the collective, you know, was this resilient. I didn't know the collective had a motherfucking backbone. I didn't know the collective, you know what I'm saying, was so protected, was highly spiritually ranked. I didn't know the collective was a chosen one. So, okay, so 
you got people that I keep getting drawn, like I keep looking at this deck and it's saying, it says fall in love. Yeah, you got people falling in love with you from your past and people you don't even know, people in your present, even if you're in a relationship, you just have that personality, okay? If you're in a serious relationship and you got people around you that low-key are in love with you, they're not going to jeopardize your relationship. They're going to keep that to themselves as long as they can be around you is what I'm hearing. <laughs> I don't know who you got around you, but they're in love with you. And they're not going to say nothing. They're just going to, you know, support you and your relationship because they know that you're in love with whoever you're with. Okay. And as long as they can be around you, that's all that matters. That is for someone. <laughs> A couple of you is what I'm hearing. All right. So real quick, that person that, you know, you are committed to, that wants to reconcile, that wants a chance with you, okay, new or old. Let's see, how are they feeling? Give me one spirit, thank you. So we have trust me. They want you to trust them, okay? Um, that was about to be flipped over in the reverse. Maybe some of you guys, you know are learning how to trust again is what I'm hearing. Learning how to trust again, yeah. This person's tongue-tied over you. They think you're amazing, babe, okay? Glowing up, you have transformed, you have completely elevated, leveled up. This person wants to have a home with you, but I'm trying to tell you, I'm hearing multiple people, <laughs> but it's like two strong energies that are like holding onto your energy for dear life, okay? And they both want you to trust them. They both are tongue-tied over you. And they both feel like you are just home. You're everything. <laughs> but it's a lot of people that feel like this. I'm going to be honest. And the people that took you for granted, you know they are in regret. They are in remorse. Because you're not speaking to these people no more. But baby dolls and baby boys, that's the reading. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you know when your girl posting. Until next time, bye.